Hey, welcome to episode four of our vlog for 2022. And we got some great updates for this month. And so we're excited to jump into it. There's some great new products that just came out. You've been hearing about some of it from us about the new Sage R8, their new flagship rod that uh, has replaced the X. Excellent rod, there's a couple of videos online that we have done already, so make sure you check those out if you haven't seen them yet, but we're still loving this rod, enjoying fishing it and casting it. But there's a couple other things that have come out as well from them, and one of them is a return of the Reddington Butter Stick in that beautiful butter yellow color. We love, we love this thing. Glad they came back out with the original yellow, and uh, we know it's gonna be a great rod, about 280 bucks. There's only three sizes in a three, four, and a five, uh, so no more six or eight weight in there, but, uh, but if you're looking for a light trout fiberglass rod, that deep bend, uh, this is a great rod for that. Now the rod from Reddington is the new Trailblazer, and this is a six piece rod that replaces their classic trout. And so if you're a backpacker or a hiker, this thing packs down super tiny, comes in a three weight or a five weight, is a great backcountry rod. And uh, this rod is so brightly colored, you will not have to worry about leaving it on the side of the lake and forgetting it as you hike out back home because this thing is just glowing, it's so bright. And the other really cool new thing from Sage that we just got in is the new Thermo Reel. And this is a this is a, the opposite end of the spectrum of these other two rods I just talked about. This is a new saltwater specific reel for big game. So it comes in a 10 to 12 weight as well as a 12 to 16 weight. Massive backing capacity on this reel. Uh, it, it, it has a great drag system with that 1 to 20 drag knob. Comes in at 700 bucks. So... You know, if you're not wanting to spend a ton of money on a really high-end reel like a Nautilus GTX, um, you know, that thing is the, the cream of the crop. Um, but this thing is a little bit more friendly for those on a budget that, are, that really need a reel that can handle some serious drag. Last month we had our fly fishing film tour and we had that at the Blue Mouse over in Tacoma. Thank you so much for all of you that came out to that and supported the Wild Steelhead Coalition fundraiser that we did. We raised several thousand dollars for that. And so we're super glad to be able to support their work and just to see all of you. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Hadn't seen many of you in two years. And so it was just a beautiful reunion. I also mentioned last month that I was going to be hosting a trip down to Hobosh, Mexico, and it ended up not happening. <laughs> First it was my Belize trip in January, and then now this next trip. Many of you knew that there were a lot of really strong storms in the southeast, in the south, and those storms also hit the top of the Yucatan Peninsula, and so there was 40 to 50 mile per hour winds, and it was not gonna be fishable for the week. And so we decided to delay our trip a couple weeks, and so I am heading off to Mexico right now, and, um, and so I will have a tarpon report when I get back on that one. Uh, and so we canceled this trip that was supposed to be on a Monday on a Saturday. And, and so um, instead what I did was, I had already told everyone that I was gonna be gone and I was gonna be in Mexico, so figured, hey, might as well just still go to Mexico. So instead of going to the East Coast to, uh, to Cancun and then up to Hobosh, uh, my wife and I booked tickets to Zihuataneo and uh, down on the Pacific Coast. And we loaded up a boat board in the backpack and a uh, Hobie iTrek 11 inflatable pedal drive kayak and we, Flew those things down there and had some fun on the water. I did learn that the iTrek is not very good at surf launching. And so that was slightly disastrous. But, but other than that, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we went out fishing uh, as well. I fished the beach. We, we, we also booked a, uh, a ponga and went out and um, and had some fun out fishing. I caught like a small little black tuna, we caught a Dorado and, and just had a great time checking out uh, a new area that we've never been to before. If you wanna to go to somewhere you've never been before, I'm guessing you probably haven't been to Cuba and I would love to go with you. So this next year, end of January, I have a trip booked to Cuba. I have plenty of room for you and all your buddies. So let's go. There's information on our website. Hit me up, we'll, uh, let's put this thing together. I've been to Cuba six times previously, and so this will be my seventh trip. 
and I'm really excited about getting back there. I haven't been there since January of 2020. And so looking forward to seeing some guides that I haven't seen for a while and hopefully catching a permit. Fishing has been a lot of fun locally. Lakes just opened up, so there's a ton of opportunity that we didn't have until just recently. Saltwater has been fishing well uh, also, and so uh, there's been a lot of cutthroat out along the beaches chasing chum fry. We've definitely been seeing chum fry out there. So now is the time to get out and go fishing. If you want to book a guide trip, we have full day trips available uh, out in the kayaks in the salt, as well as half day trips available in the salt and on the lakes. We also do half day walk and wade trips on the beach. Lots of opportunity to get out. We also have some group trips coming up as well. So make sure you check out our website for all the information on those. Speaking of group trips, we also have our women's angling program trips kicking off. And uh, they actually, I think the first one was just this last weekend and we got a couple more coming up. And so women, if you want to get in on a group trip with Colin, make sure you check out the website and book that trip before they fill up. Summer is coming up and the last couple summers have been pretty rough for us as a retailer getting product in. And so this year we got prepared and way out in advance. Uh, and so we got prepared by ordering in a ton of product earlier than we normal, normally would. And so we have a ton of paddle boards. We have hard boards and inflatables. We also have a ton of inflatable kayaks. We have Hobie kayaks. We are stocked up with lots of inventory and we are ready for this summer in the selling season. And so if you want your pick on the sizes and colors and all those different things that you want, make sure that you buy early so that you can get those and we have a lot of different on the water events to give you the opportunity to try these things out as well we also have some videos that we've done recently on the boat kayaks as well as the boat board paddle boards and so make sure you check those out we have lots of videos on our channel about the hobie kayaks and we love to give demos of the hobie kayaks we love to put you in them and let you try them out you can either book a guide trip to try it out for uh, for some fishing on the water with a hobie kayak we also have our water sports eco tours that are kicking off um, Memorial Day weekend. That's a great way to be able to get in a Hobie kayak for a half of a day out on the water with a guide and just go exploring. Great way to try those things out. You can submit a reservation request on our website or you can just give us a call and set something up, show you why these things are so incredible and get you out on the water. We're super excited about May and especially for the summer as the weather gets nicer and there's a lot of fishing opportunity. We have a lot of fun events planned for all of you. So we hope you can participate in some of those things this summer. Make sure you check out the videos and the information on that new Sage R8 if you're in the market for a new fly rod. I hope these updates were helpful for all of you that are Gig Harbor Fly Shop customers. We appreciate you guys so much. Give this video a like so it can spread to other people on YouTube as well so they can find it. Make sure you subscribe to get all the updates for all the new videos that we have coming out and we will see you soon.